name is Rima Buhaya and I work for the global public health organization MEDACT. A recent investigation by Muatana Organization for Human Rights and Physicians for Human Rights revealed that since the start of the war in Yemen in 2015, there have been, one, there have been over 120 attacks on health facilities and health workers. Yemen's public health and sanitation infrastructure has been for the most part obliterated, sometimes directly due to these attacks, but also as an indirect consequence of years of ongoing war and instability in the country. Over 100,000 people have been killed during the war, and nearly 100,000 more have died due to its impacts, from normally preventable and treatable diseases such as cholera and dengue fever, and also due to mass famine in the country. And the people and public health systems of Yemen are now incredibly vulnerable to COVID-19 outbreaks due to the war. So my question to BAE Systems is, how can BAE Systems be certain that equipment that has been and continues to be sold to Saudi Arabia has not been used in either attacks on civilians or attacks on health facilities and workers? And how can BAE Systems justify Continue, justify continuing to ship weapons and parts to Saudi Arabia during the pandemic, given that there have been calls from members of the UN Security Council and even from the UN Secretary General for a global ceasefire. Thank you.